Angiris, Angiris pronounced Urs is a Vedic rishi sage of Hinduism. He is described in the Rigveda as a teacher of divine knowledge, a mediator between men and gods, as well as stated in other hymns to be the first of Agni Devas fire gods. In some texts, he is considered to be one of the seven great sages or saptarishis, but in others he is mentioned but not counted in the list of seven great sages. In some manuscripts of Atharvaveda, the text is attributed to Atharvangirasa, which is a compound of sage Atharvan and Angiris. The student family of Angiris are called Angarasa, and they are credited to be the authors of some hymns in the 1st, 2nd, 5th, 8th, 9th and 10th book of the Rigveda. Angiris is common name, and the numerous mentions in ancient and medieval Indian texts may reflect different people with the same name. In the Hindu epics and Puranas, his legends and mythologies are highly inconsistent. Texts Many hymns of the Rigveda credit Angiris and his students as their authors. For example, hymns 1.101 through 1.115 dedicated to Agni, Indra, Ribas, Asvins, Ushas, Rudra and Surya were authored by Kutsa Angarasa. Hymn 2.1 dedicated to Agni was originally authored by Angarasa Sanahatra. Hymns 5.35 and 5.36 dedicated to Indra were authored by Prabhuvasu Angarasa. Hymns 8.2 first 40 verses to Indra were authored by Priyameda Angarasa. Hymns 9.97 last 14 verses, 9.108, 9.112 to Soma were authored by Kutsa Angarasa, Uru Angarasa, Urdvasadman Angarasa, Kriteyazas Angarasa and Sisu Angarasa. Hymns in Mandala 10, on Indra, Agni, Brihaspati, Wisdom, Surya, Vaisvanara, Horses, Ushas, Ritual of Royal Consecration, and others were authored by various Angirases. Other than crediting authorship, the Vedic texts mention sage Angiris in various roles such as a fire priest or a singer. For example, the allegorical hymn 3.31 of the Rigveda calls him a singer. In the Vedic tradition linked to the Atharvaveda, sage Atharvan was more revered while sage Angiris was controversial. The auspicious practices, virtues and the pursuit of good for others were attributed to Atharvan, while the hostile sorcery and pursuit of harm unto others were attributed to Angiris. According to Max Muller, a professor of Sanskrit and Indology at the Oxford University, the sage Angiris in Vedic literature is different than the plural term Angarasa, and these terms refer to different people. The Angiris Rishi is different than the group of sorcerers in Atharvaveda also named Angarasa, and according to Muller, the Vedic Rishi is also different from a class of divine beings who too are called Angarasa in the Vedic texts and described as sprung from coals Angara. In Buddhist Pali canonical texts such as Diga Nikaya, Tevija Sutta describes a discussion between the Buddha and Vedic scholars of his time. The Buddha names ten Rishis, calls them early sages and makers of ancient verses that have been collected and chanted in his era, and among those ten rishis is Angiris. History The name Angirises is applied generically to several Puranic individuals. Further, the Vedic sage Angiris appears in medieval Hindu texts with contradictory roles as well as many different versions of his birth, marriage and biography. In some, he is described to be the son of Brahma, in others he is one of many Prajapatis. Depending on the legend, he has one, two or four wives. In one myth, his wife is stated to be Sarupa and his sons are Yudhithya, Samvartana and Brahaspati. Other accounts say that he married Smriti memory, the daughter of Daksha and later married Svata oblation. Yet other Puranic accounts state, he married Shuba and they had seven daughters named after aspects of fire and a son named Brihaspati. In some legends, sage Brihaspati is his son. According to one legend, Angarasa turned his senses inwards and meditated on Para-Brahman, the creator of the creator, for several years. The great Tejas he got by birth had multiplied infinitely by his penance. He attained many divine qualities, powers, and riches, and control over many worlds. But he was oblivious of all the worldly attainments and did not stop his penance. Due to this penance he became one with the para-Brahman and thus attained the state of Brahmarshi. He had visions of many Vedic mantras and brought them to this earthly world. He is credited as being the source of great number of Vedic hymns and mantras and also believed to have introduced fire worship along with sage Bhrigu. He is one of Saptarishis in the Puranic mythologies. 
Topic. See also. Angra Mainu, wrong spirit, or enemy spirit, according to Zoroastrianism. Burhaspati, son of Angiras, guru of Devas. Brigu, father of Shukracharya, guru of Asuras. Topic. Notes. Topic. References. Topic. External links The First Mandala of the Rig Veda, Frederick Pincott see discussion on Angiris.